Ishmael, the firstborn of Abraham and his lasting legacy. Ishmael, the firstborn son of Abraham, occupies a significant yet often underappreciated place in the religious narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. His story is a complex tapestry of divine promises, familial tensions, and the foundations of nations. Though sometimes referred to as the Forgotten Son, Ishmael's legacy is profound and enduring, particularly in Islamic tradition. Ishmael's journey begins with Abraham, originally named Abram, a man chosen by God and promised that he would be the father of a great nation. However, Abraham and his wife Sarah were without children, a source of great concern as they both grown old as the Abraham was aged eighty-eight years. In an attempt to realize the divine promise, Sarah offered her Egyptian maidservant Hagar to Abraham, a practice that, while foreign to modern norms, was culturally accepted at the time. Hagar conceived and bore a son, Ishmael, Abraham's firstborn. The Bible recounts Ishmael's birth and early life with a blend of joy and tension. Sarah, who had initially consented to this arrangement, soon grew jealous and resentful once Hagar became pregnant. The book of Genesis describes how Sarah treated Hagar harshly, driving her to flee into the wilderness. It was there that an angel of the Lord appeared to Hagar by a spring of water, telling her to return to Sarah and promising that her son would become the father of a great nation. Hagar was instructed to name her son Ishmael, meaning God hears, because God had heard her affliction. As Ishmael grew up, he became the object of Abraham's affection. However, the tension between Sarah and Hagar persisted, and this discord reached a climax when Sarah gave birth to Isaac, the son she and Abraham had longed for. The Bible narrates that Sarah, fearing for Isaac's inheritance, demanded that Abraham send Hagar and Ishmael away. Reluctantly, Abraham complied, sending them into the wilderness with minimal provisions. The biblical account continues with Hagar and Ishmael wandering in the desert of Beersheba, where they nearly perished from thirst. In their moment of despair, God heard Ishmael's cries and sent an angel to comfort Hagar, showing her a well of water and reassuring her that Ishmael would grow into a great nation. Ishmael eventually settled in the wilderness of Paran, where he became an expert archer and married an Egyptian woman. He fathered twelve sons, who became leaders of twelve tribes, fulfilling God's promise to Abraham. The Quranic account of Ishmael, known in Arabic as Ismail, offers additional details and emphasizes his role as a prophet and the progenitor of the Arab people, particularly through his connection to the prophet Muhammad. In the Quran, Ishmael is portrayed as a devoted and obedient son, actively participating in the spiritual and religious life of his father, Abraham. One of the key moments in the Quranic narrative is the construction of the Kaaba in Mecca, which is described in Surah al-Baqarah. Abraham and Ishmael are depicted working together to establish this sacred site, dedicating it to the worship of the one true God. This act is foundational to Islamic tradition, and the Kaaba remains the spiritual center of Islam, where millions of Muslims turn in prayer each day. The Quran also recounts the story of a great test of faith, where Abraham is commanded by God to sacrifice his son. While the Bible identifies Isaac as the intended sacrifice, Islamic tradition asserts that it was Ishmael. This narrative, found in Surah as safat portrays Ishmael as a model of submission and faith. When Abraham informed Ishmael of the divine command, Ishmael responded with remarkable courage and piety, encouraging his father to fulfill God's will without hesitation. He said, O oh my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me, if Allah wills, among the steadfast. At the moment of sacrifice, God intervened, sparing Ishmael and providing a ram to be sacrificed in his place. This event is commemorated annually during Eid al-Adha, one of the most significant festivals in Islam. The willingness of both Abraham and Ishmael to submit to God's will is a central theme in Islamic theology, symbolizing the ultimate act of faith and obedience.
Ishmael's legacy in Islam is profound. He is regarded not only as a prophet, but also as a patriarch of the Arab people. Through his descendants, particularly his son Kedar, the lineage leads to the prophet Muhammad, establishing Ishmael as a pivotal figure in the history of Islam. The Quran praises Ishmael for his patience, his steadfastness, and his deep devotion to God. In Surah Maryam, he is mentioned alongside other prophets as one who was true to his promises and who was righteous in his conduct. The Quran emphasizes that Ishmael, like his father Abraham, was a leader who called people to righteousness and the worship of the one true God. Ishmael's story also underscores the theme of divine mercy and compassion. Despite the circumstances of his birth and the challenges he faced, Ishmael was not abandoned by God. The Quranic narrative highlights God's attentive care for Hagar and Ishmael in the wilderness, providing them with sustenance and guiding them to a place where they could thrive. This narrative of divine provision is echoed in the biblical story, where God's intervention ensures that Ishmael survives and prospers, despite being cast out from Abraham's household. In the broader context of the Abrahamic faiths, Ishmael's story is a powerful reminder of the shared heritage among Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. While the three traditions have different interpretations of his role and significance, they all acknowledge Ishmael as a son of Abraham and a figure who played a crucial role in the unfolding of God's plans. In Judaism and Christianity, Ishmael is often seen as a figure who lives outside the covenant established with Isaac, yet his life is still marked by God's blessings. The Bible describes him as a wild donkey of a man, living in tension with others, which has been interpreted in various ways throughout history. Some have viewed this as a negative portrayal, while others have seen it as a reflection of the complex nature of human relationships and the challenges of fulfilling divine promises. In contrast, Islamic tradition honors Ishmael as a foundational figure in the history of the faith. His willingness to sacrifice his life in obedience to God, his role in the construction of the Kaaba, and his status as an ancestor of Muhammad all contribute to his revered status in Islam. The story of Ishmael in the Quran is one of faith, endurance, and divine favor, and it continues to inspire Muslims around the world. The legacy of Ishmael extends beyond religious texts and into the realms of literature, art, and culture. Throughout history, his story has been interpreted and reinterpreted in various ways, reflecting the diverse perspectives of different communities. In the Islamic world, Ishmael is celebrated not only as a prophet, but also as a symbol of resilience and faith. His story is recounted during the Hajj pilgrimage, where Muslims retrace the steps of Hagar and Ishmael in the rituals of Sa'i and the sacrifice of Eid al-Adha. These practices connect believers to the profound history of Ishmael and the lessons of faith and perseverance that his life embodies. In modern times, Ishmael's story has been revisited by scholars and theologians who seek to bridge the gaps between the Abrahamic faiths. His life serves as a point of commonality, a figure who links Jews, Christians, and Muslims to a shared ancestry and a shared set of values. Ishmael's role as a son, a father, and a leader offers rich material for reflection on the nature of family, faith, and the human relationship with the divine. Ishmael, the son of Abraham, may be considered forgotten in some traditions, but his influence is anything but. His life is a testament to the power of faith, the importance of obedience to God, and the enduring impact of divine promises. Whether through the biblical lens of struggle and survival, or the Quranic portrayal of prophetic leadership and unwavering devotion, Ishmael's story continues to resonate across centuries and cultures. The narrative of Ishmael invites us to consider the complexities of destiny, the challenges of living in accordance with divine will, and the ways in which God's plans unfold in the lives of individuals and nations. His story is a reminder that even those who may seem forgotten by the world are never forgotten by God. Through Ishmael, we see the intricate interplay of human agency and divine intervention, the struggles of family and faith, and the enduring connections between the peoples who trace their origins back to this remarkable son of Abraham.